Let's take a look at how to work with get methods when doing API testing with JavaScript. Hey there, welcome to Automation Bro. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified of my newly uploaded content. So in this video, we'll continue to write API test for get methods. In the previous video, what we did was write our test for the slash users API. So if I open that up over here. So here, what we did was basically write a simple test for slash users, made a get call and made sure that the data returned is not empty. So in this video, what we're going to do is kind of do the same thing. But instead of hitting the slash users route, we're going to hit the slash users slash ID. So what we are doing is instead of getting the data for all of this, we'll get a data for an individual one. So for example, if I do get ID slash one, I should get the data for this particular part. So let's do that. I'm going to do, let me open up the uh, network tab. I'm going to do inspect. Go to network. Okay. So what I'm going to do now slash users slash one. So it returned us this data, which is exactly what we wanted. And if I go here, we just made our API call, which is get call on the slash users slash one. And I go to preview, I can see the data that's been returned. So this is pretty straightforward. This is what we're going to do and see if it works for us. So let me head over to the code section. So this is the test we wrote for our get users route. One thing I want to do over here is what we did was added this done callback to handle the asynchronous behavior. Now there's two ways to handle this. So if I just copy this and paste it below and just comment all this out. And if I remove the done, okay. So what I'm going to do is instead of putting done over here, just return this whole thing. And instead of passing dot end, I will do dot then and remove the error from there. Okay. Now, basically what we are doing is instead of handling the asynchronous behavior by the done callback, what we are doing is just returning the promise. Even that way, Mocha will know that we have to um, basically access the URL over here or basically access the route over here, then wait until this results or the promise results and then look for this particular line for this assertion and then move on to the next one. So this is another way to write tests and working with the asynchronous behavior. So it's up to you, whichever one you want to follow. If you think this one is easier to read, you can do this. Or if you prefer to use done callback, that's easier too. So if I just run this, just to let you know that even this works, npm test, there you go, even this worked. So same thing as uh, the last time, our test passed, there's no issues. And uh, just to make sure that this is actually being run, I can remove dot not, um, and then if I run this again, obviously this should, this should just throw us an error. Yep, there you go. So that's working. Awesome. So it's up to you whichever way you want to use. So we're going to continue using this way as it's easier to read. So let's do this. Now let's, I'm going to keep this over here. I want to move this. What I'm going to do is create a new test for an int block. And this time what we are doing is doing a get on the user's ID. So we'll do get users slash ID. Now same thing. I'm just going to copy this it over here instead of doing slash users um what we're gonna do is just users slash one and everything else will remain same our session is also same we'll expect it to not be empty let's run this to make sure if it works there you go so that worked too we just did get slash users id and it's working so our session is same what we're going to do is actually instead of just say, checking whether it's not empty, we're going to verify whether this ID is what is being returned. So what we're going to do is we have rest body dot data. We're just going to do dot ID to be equal. And we'll just say one. So we're just verifying the data being returned, which is this ID is actually what we're getting back over here. Okay, awesome. So even this worked. So this was it. I mean, just doing a slash ID, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is make sure whatever the data you're putting it over here is what you're getting back. You can add in some extra sessions if you want. It's totally up to you, whichever way you want to handle it. So with get request, we can also work with query parameters. 
So what we can do is basically pass in a uh, different anything after this question mark over here would be our query parameter. So in this case, we are already passing in the access token. So what we can also do is pass in additional information, which we can use to filter down our get request. So to give you example, we can filter the user's data by let's say uh, gender, male or female, or we can filter it by uh, status active and active. This is what the uh, API provides us. So let's go over to the API documentation and then take a look at how we can do this. So I'm back here in this website, gores.co.in. So if we scroll down, um, you can see, let's take a look where it is. So with get users, they are allowing you to pass in some additional query parameters. Uh, yep, there it is. So you can filter it, for example, by page, or you can filter in by some other information. So let me go over here. We have this users. Uh, let me remove this, search for all the users. So they said that we can actually filter by page. So let's try that out. What I'm going to do is add in a question mark here and do page equals, let's say five. There you go. Now we're getting data for page number five. And this is all that information regarding that. So this is, this is a great way to filter it out. If you just want to skip over and go to some specific page to make sure that's working. Another way we can do is filter by the fields over here. Now let's say if you want to filter by page in on page five, anything that has gender with female. So I'm going to do basically, basically we did question mark page equals five and I'm going to add end and do gender equal. Uh, what are we saying? Female, right? So let's try that. There you go. So we just search for that. It's on page five and then we're getting all the gender with female over here. Same over here. If you scroll down. Yep. All female. Awesome. And maybe if I want to do another filtration, I want to do status active. So I can add in and over here again and then do status equal active. Now it's more even filtered out. We can see gender female status active and this is perfect. We can actually do all this for all the other ones. So let's try this out. We're going to do this and we're going to verify our, in our assertion whether it's page number five, gender and status. So let's try that out. What I'm going to do is copy this page equals five and all this whole thing. Head over to our VS code. Okay, and then create a new test. So I'll just copy this actually. And then let's create one which is get users with query params. Okay, so in this case, we have to, since this URL is getting like too long, what I'm gonna do is add in and create a variable here, call it URL pass that over here and then actually put all of this this much over here and do end awesome then we'll replace this with url all right so this is good it's actually much more readable now uh, so what we're doing we're doing a get on this we have passed in the query parameters so what we just did is basically added on top of the access token. So we added another access token and then everything else that we need to add in over here. Um, then I think everything else remains the same. Our, our actual assertion that will change. So let's say if you want to verify it's not empty. So let's do that. And if I run this now, npm test. Okay, so that passed. So that's pretty good. This is what we wanted. Uh, but one thing to keep, uh, what I forgot to do here was instead of searching for all the users, I'm searching for this one user here. I'm gonna change that to make sure I get the data for everyone. So let me run that quickly again, to make sure this is working. Yep, okay, this is good too. Now, obviously we already did this assertion. So let's try to do something else. In this case, we actually wanna verify that it's on page five. The gender is female and the status is active. Um, and also we want to verify that for all the users that, that are being returned, not an individual user. So in this case, obviously we'll have to do some kind of a loop. So what I'll do is I'll just say rest.body.data and we'll add a for a loop over here. So I'll do for each. And then we can, since we're getting a, maybe let's do this. Uh, yeah, data is fine. We're getting a data back. And then here I can add in my uh, assertion. So I'll do expect. So what are we expecting? Um, we have data and I want to make sure that the gender is female and the status is active. So I'll do data dot gender to equal 
email. Okay, so that's good. I'll add another one. In this case, I want to make sure the status is active. All right, now, oops, I have to add the status. Okay, so this looks good. Let's run this to see if this works. All right, even this worked, that's pretty good. Um, so like I said, every time we add a test, let's make sure to fail it so that we actually know if our sessions are working. Um, so to do that, let's change this to mail to see if that would actually work. If this one works, we can assume that the next one would work. Okay, so that failed. Awesome. This is what we were expecting. So expected female to equal male. Awesome. So this is great. We are actually getting female back, but it's, instead it's showing it's male. So that's good. So this way we can actually verify if the uh, our sessions are working and it's actually being hit. All right, guys. So that was it. We created two more get routes. So try this out on your own and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. In the next video, we will take a look at post route to see how to create new users. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel as that's how now you guys are really enjoying the content. Alright, see you in the next one. Keep testing, keep smiling.